Hello, good morning, happy Friday. Thank you so much for joining me here on our first Friday for April 2024. Super excited uh, to see what uh, the cards will have in store for us, not only for our new theme for the whole month, but also uh, for this first week here. Um, if you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. And uh, if this is in the future and it is not April 5th, 2024, uh, welcome. Don't uh, worry or hesitate. These messages are still for you. Oops. <laughs> know that, uh, you know, your spirit, your higher self has brought you to hear the messages here today. Uh, you know, regardless of the, the day of the week. <laughs> Um, but for those of us who are here live and are here regularly, I hope that you've had a wonderful week, a uh, transitory week, through into April here um, with lots of points uh, to speak your truth and lots of opportunities uh, to do so in a kind, loving way and to assess the way that you speak your truths. That's what I really uh, noticed and have been doing all week and it has brought up for me so many um, little bubbles of <laughs> truths and concepts that I am going to be further exploring and through topics and blogs and other videos and things. So it's been a wonderful week for me. I hope it's been enlightening and exciting for you guys. Um, I have some Palo Santo already going and I've already done a bit of med meditation this morning. Although I still will do a quick one for all of us. But I wanted to just sort of open this morning with a little bit of, um, yeah, a little bit of that kind of updates and talk about today's the fifth. What a wonderful day um, to have the first card on. Uh, and it's, it just strikes me as unbelievable too because I was, when I lit the Palo Santo, at first, I, I sometimes I talk about this and I see things in the, as I'm lighting it and blowing on it to get it going. And it looked like a two or a Z. And as I kept blowing, I was like, wow, it's so distinct. But, you know, it was so distinct it needed to be lit still a little bit. So I lit it a little more and blew on it, and it looked just like a three. It had almost connected into this three shape. And I said, wow, 23. Two and three is five, and today is five. <laughs> and then as I continued to burn it, it, it almost looked like um, an angel or half of an angel's wing or someone rushing in. Like, it looks like a figure with a sail or an arm behind it or something. Um, so yeah, call to share that with everybody, anybody listening, in case there is little tidbits in there that are personal to you that might be some kind of external confirmation or mean something special or unique to you about 23 or today being 5 or knowing that with chaos coming in um, and sometimes with these things whooshing in, it really creates a catalytic time for unbelievable growth and a wonderful opportunity, courageous chance to stand for what you believe in, to stand what you think is the truth for you at this present moment, to honor it, um, and to be empowered by that in the face of adversity or in the face of challenge or chaos or an obstacle of some sort. So, so beautiful for the fifth, energies aligning, wonderful messages, hopefully, um, yeah, I'm not going to continue, uh, I don't know what I'm saying hopefully for, <laughs> just going on, I guess. Let's calm the energy down and let's get settled, right? Better, No better example than that for us to calm and be a good audience before we pull the cards. So I am uh, going to lead us. If, uh, if you'd like to close your eyes along with me, I'm going to close my eyes. You don't have to. You could certainly watch. Uh, there's not going to be much to see. <laughs> it's supposed to be a listening thing. Uh, but if you're doing something else, too, that's totally fine. It's not going to be a heavy hypnosis kind of session where you shouldn't be driving or doing anything. Um, if you are doing something else, just listen along and try your best to be fully aware and conscious in the task that you're doing in the physical moment. You know, if you're, if you're doing the dishes or you're driving or whatever, notice the quality of your breath. Notice your body. Try to really be in the moment of what you are seeing and what is in front of you and what you're doing and really um, pay attention consciously to it. So, uh, as, as I said, I'm going to close my eyes, and you're welcome to as well. And just, as usual, let's take a couple of 
centering breaths. In and out. and the flow of the breath. Take a moment to feel your pulse, your heartbeat. Is it fast? Is it slow? Is it light? Heavy? Just breathe and Breathe and accept. With that acceptance comes release, acknowledgement. Yes, I did feel. Breathe some space, breathe whatever you need into that. And know with full faith, those things ride in on the breath. Light, energy, nutrients, space, flexibility, support, nourishment, whatever special you need you need, the universe provides. It has it in surplus, full abundance out there in infinite intelligence around us. It knows and hears the calling of just what your breath needs, your heart needs. sacred boundary of your conscious experience. It is so unique, diverse. There's so much within you. It makes you up. Levels and layers of realities and consciousnesses doing work, exchanging molecules, chemicals, energy, light and love. transactions happen in languages that are cymatic. Reverences echoing, transmitting frequencies. Different language in the audio, vibratory transmission. 
transmissions we create as humans to speak. But it is nonetheless worthy or valuable, important or real. However, for many, myself included, they are foreign languages. We, as the observer and creator of the whole universe, must dive in and learn, must inhabit the different cultures and countries, sections, and systems within our universe live amongst them and learn to speak fluently in order to better serve. And why not their part of you? So serve them to their highest honor, to the best of your capability. It's as simple as breathing in information and wisdom and Sending tiny pieces into every section, every system, every process. Feel as you breathe the needs being met, their checklist being checked off, their pantries, their resources, their kitchens filling. Everything ever needed is provided for. Simple proof is in the breath. Let's just spend a moment lying on it here. Allow your imagination to take these workings, visualizations deep within you. Explore what you find for a moment. Remember to stay connected to the your mind's eye to zoom out, see yourself outside yourself for a moment, like a fly on the wall in a little mirror. See for a moment the room, the depth, the space, create the dimensions, see the floor, your walls, remember your furniture points, Orienting yourself with this image. See how you're sitting and all that you're sitting. Whether you're seeing yourself from above, behind, or in front, the side. Whether you're holding your mirror right now. Remember your hair. Is it a shoe? 
things you have on. See that vessel is like a light body, like a prism, almost transparent or opaque. Maybe. As you watch and breathe, notice the breath controls the flow in, the depositing of light and the settling. You can see it filling up your body, filling in even more. See it filling the legs, lower body. to the neck, up into the head, feeling it filling up to the full, see the gauge hitting that F marker, bright, beautiful, circular, surplus. Feel your abundance of light and love. See the shining star that you are. Be grateful for this practice, for taking the time to do this exercise and build this beautiful image of yourself, of your divine, sacred, organic light body. Take a moment to just bask in the beauty of it. See it changing, flickering. Maybe you can see the tornado flow. Perhaps it looks like a blob or a star. Maybe it's beautiful atomic solid, sacred geometry. Whatever it is, lock it into your view, into your imagination space behind your eyes now. Take a snapshot of that masterpiece. Polaroid, see it printing out, hold it close to your heart, bring it into your heart, see it melting through the chest and into the heart center as it becomes a framed bit of artwork, a true masterpiece painting in a frame of your choosing silver or gold blue, whatever shape, hold it in front of you and see that image of your beautiful light body. And hang it on the wall here in your throne room, your temple and your heart center, this beautiful, sacred sanctuary. you have 
give thanks for those unique states of you, of your lineage, of your ancestry and wisdom. space. Turn around and see the door. And let's step out the door and back into the present, into now. Here, Friday the 5th. Into ourselves in this beautiful setting. Third density. Ever present, present moment into the present body. Feel again your feet. Maybe wiggle your fingers and toes. Lick your lips. Take just a second before you open your eyes to feel that gratitude and to feel my gratitude as well. Thank you for taking this time to create the space to be a good audience. As you're ready, open your eyes. We'll do tarot card first for our theme for April. In this quick read, I would like to thank the cards for their audience. As always, we feel and know your presence. We acknowledge your truths as you acknowledge ours. And we thank you eternally for your presence and support, and we ask you for guidance or advice for anything you'd like to speak on or share or highlight for us as a collective here in April, as we move through this month, as well as individually as we move through these weeks in the month of April. Thank you, thank you, thank you. having a course corrections. <laughs> Let's see if it comes back. I felt like it was one, but I feel like perhaps it might have gotten lost, so I'm going to knock and cut. Ask it to find its way, please. Okay, the three of pentacles. Well, we just had the two of pentacles. Um, and so it will be interesting how to see that this is developing and moving into the three of pentacles and it's, you know, upright. So what a wonderful month to for creative points of um, working through and harnessing whatever endeavors, projects, um, talents that you have any sort of creative things that you're good at, this is the time um, to really do the work. And if you notice here in the picture, oops, in the image, see he's doing the work there and loving it. And it's really about those tiny artistry, really putting in those artistic, unique um, tailor fittings, those little um, things that make you know, something specific to the artist. I forget what they really call them, but it's like they're putting their own little flair on it. You know, your style, your um, unique points of creation is really what the Three of Pentacles is all about. And of course, with the Pentacles, it's how we make our way in the world. It's things like our career, our trade, um, the way that we interact and we generate currency and exchange. 
with external services. So it doesn't always have to be about money, but I mean, it is centered around material things, creating material um, projects or um, manifestations. Wow, so that's a, such a great theme. I'll pull out the Saints and Angels deck and we'll see what our wonderful guides, our saints and angels, our guardian angels, those in spirit who are always with us, those beings of higher density and frequency with benevolence in their hearts who witness our journey here. We thank you so much for your influences and presences for your guidance and your high vibrations that work to uplift and soothe us and to remind us of our, our own strength and our own purposes. We ask if you could give us a message of working, uh, points to harness into or assistance that we could reach out for in this week of April under our newest theme here, Three of Pentacles. Thank you, thank you. again and this is why I'm gonna take this card because it happened with that and I didn't grab it <sighs> steady progress with St. Therese and if you follow my channel and you've been with me for readings coming you know these last couple of weeks the repetition um, has been you know phenomenal it's been totally paranormal, outside the normal um, of, of what I have experienced with, you know, drawing cards and working with decks and, and, and um, doing these kinds of readings. I have been getting so many repeat cards and this Steady Progress card has been twice um, the back of the deck after cards and I am, I'll go back and check because I've been keeping notes on how many times this is coming up, but wow. Um, and what a beautiful notion and reminder, right, that steady progress really is. I'm going to read the book here for St. Therese, um, <clears throat> just in case anyone needs to hear the actual wordings there and unlock some key terms and meanings for your own journey, um, and especially, you know, where she's been on the back so much. You've been making steady progress, and it's important for you to recognize that this progress, not perfection, is what's important. This is a message for you to appreciate how much you've already achieved and how many people you've helped along the way. Keep your focus away from any lapses that you think you've made. Guilt and regrets never helped anyone, so let them go today. Beautiful. You're also asked to forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. St. Therese didn't live a life of spiritual perfection. She often fell asleep or was distracted during her prayers, for example. Yet she insisted that it's the little way of steady progression that connects us with God and heaven. She wrote, learn and grow from your challenges, but don't let them stop you from your devotion, spiritual path. St. Therese was born in Lesso. Oh, I probably, I'm going to, not French, <laughs> France, <laughs> in 1873, and became a Carmelite nun along with two of her sisters. Therese began having mystical experiences, which she wrote about, only because her mother superior ordered, to do so, ordered her to do so. In an autobiography, she called the story of a soul. Many miracle cures of ailments as such as ulcers, tuberculosis, and arthritis are attributed to St. Therese's intercession. Um, upon her deathbed, she promised to send roses as a sign of her presence and devotion. She's often referred to as Little Flower. How beautiful. Yes, I really love that. Um, and the story of a soul is on YouTube. You can find it for free. <laughs> um, I found that a while, maybe last year. Um, perhaps I'll share that as well on there. Um, but yes, thank you so much for joining me this morning for our messages. Um, 
a little longer, but of course it's uh, always the first me messages of the month run a little longer. Thank you so much for uh, spending time with me. I really appreciate that and your audience as always. Thank you for witnessing my journey here and I will see you next Friday.